Back it up, back it up. Got to put that on. It's getting like a separate bit for the disco on it.
some stealing our pattern, is that? So what, you try to tell me you made this? Yeah, right. See you later. Oh, no, it's, it's a fire, please. I'm gonna put the light bulbs in. Because I put the light bulbs in. Oh. Is that your wonderful achievement? Aye. <coughs> I'm not going to get dressed, I'm going to do my ironing. Get an ironing pile up the wall to frighten the fringe. <laughs> so I get that down for my bedrooms. That's me. My dad's up in the cozy and work in the day. See, it was beautiful for me. No, be. See, it's gorgeous and it's beautiful for me. I used to go and see a doctor for a reason. I used to watch someone up with a doctor. Because he had asked to go into the, the people picking for good. Yeah. You know? And his boy said, Well, I don't know. And then the dad says, Well, my legs are not being good. So the boss says, Well, we'll do this right, David. We'll send you to the doctor and get you assessed. Yeah. He says, Not way. Well, I can truly put through that you're you know, disabled.
Co tu nie chce, jedno? Mhm. Uh -huh. I'm going to be up to Inverness. Oh, yeah? Uh, a fair meeting up there on Saturday morning, the whole crowd's meeting. Um, Danis and Van are from North America. So, uh, we're having it up in the big Inverness church. Yeah. And all the churches are all coming together there, you know. Yeah. And we're uh, going to pray all day and then we're having a meal at night. So, I guess your dad will take you back. Oh, he went for the day after now. Says Kazan will be here. Says Kazan will be here. I'll go home before that if you want. Eh? I'll go home before that if you want. Hey. Well, you'll have someone to get ready not to go. No, I'm just going to be in Friday, darling. Unless you want to get him to sell, but I'm not worried. Done enough. Hmm? Had enough. If you've done enough and had enough. No, it's not that. It's just, I'll need to go down eventually, you know. Auntie Andrea says, is Paul on the wave? She says, until I look for jobs in his area. Yeah. I says, I don't think he is. He's sitting on a lot of rubbish in the wave. She says, no, tell him to go on. She says, that's what I picked up with that. I picked up that for Loki. Yeah. She says, just put in an area. Like, your area is the bottom. Yeah. She says, put it in my, she says, and will come whatever's in the area. And you know how to do the computer problem. It's not as if you're stupid. Well, I don't have to go that line for Loki, but there is no going yet. Sorry, man. Uh, so I don't know what they do, but they're not there. Do you mind about the Houston Sacro and the winter there? When's she coming back up? I don't know, I'll go up on Friday as I say, and I'll see her then. I'll go in on Friday to see her, and then I'll go back to Shillam Falls. Because I stay at Shillam Falls, I don't stay around do here, it's too cold in my house. Uh. And that bedroom she puts in, and maybe just slept in it for ages. You know, at the end of all. I don't like going from my bed up to that. So when are you coming back? Or oh, Sunday for Sunday night, maybe. Not maybe Monday. Because I'll stay for the meeting in the morning and Sunday, and I'll stay for the church meeting at night. And Neil and Leslie, they're all going up, so I'll tell the pastor that I'm staying over up there, you know. I'm not coming down to the church and walk him off, you know. Yeah. Anyway. I may go down the road some point during the week to... When do you sign on? Don't sign on to next week. Tuesday is it, next week? I still need to go down and have a wee look. You know? Well, if you're going there, isn't it? Paul, that's Saturday, that free. Yeah. At least you can't do that. You've got to go... Well, Saturday night, you've got to go to the place for us. Yeah. You've got to go to the place for us. Yeah. You've got to take note, Paul. What did he go in the night? Let me see all what's in the district. What you fancy. I mean, there's loads of stuff will come up, but it'll not be for you. Yeah. And we... Uh, and put in for them, Paul. Uh, you know, like, if the council has any groundsmen for looking for ground, put in for that, Paul. Because there's your dad. Excuse me, boat, do you think he's all around the place? That's just a man. Jobs for because they're when you get into the council, the jobs for that you don't get the sack unless you carry on and do what he did and don't run wrong all the time. I'd have sacked him in the spot, but um, unless you don't do that, Paul, you're in the jobs for life. 
Is it life cubes? I take note of the references on your screen. Huh. And um could you jump into your ring? Jump saying or say I've seen that in the screen, is it still going? I never get a job for if you don't go and mess up. I've been in that job. But Andrew used to go in the, the keypad on it. Ah, it's was, a wee. <coughs> Andrew used to go and sit and key in because they had them all in the place. They have that new bit. Ah, uh, it's a nice man up there coming old. I just went in there. There's a man stands at the door and he says, What is it you're avoiding, you know? Ah, uh, the man, the man's still at the door. Ah, uh, 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 he's good. He's saying, Is that a good job, Paul? That's a, door, that's a civil service job. Uh, just to make sure that there's no, no weirdos come in for... A lot of weirdos go in that job Oh, I, I, I know that, but the guys there for all the chopping out if there's any stuff start. That's what that man's there for. If you get bad or this side, you just grab you. Put that door, you go. Terrible, you have terrible, you have Watch people get there. Years ago, that would never have happened for them. It's even the same with the nurses. Nobody would have ever hurt a nurse for all years ago. Never. And the nurse used to do it at night. Her wee hat and her coat and her wee bag. She could be in the street at 3 o'clock in the morning, nobody would have touched a nurse for Let's see the day. Yeah. Steal your shoes. Kill you for your shoes. Mm -hmm. Steal the teeth. Do you get your teeth? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's terrible for them. Stab you and all? Loving enough for being a leech. Stab you. Drive in. <clears throat> Battery at the spot or the bus stop or something and drive away. Mm -hmm. That's what David says they've done with that guy. To get him off. He must have had something. It was just down in the bus, it was just down at the bus, it was down at the bus, it was down at the bus. And the gangs there, I bet. What are the gangs out there? See, they just do that, they're picking some, because they're so, they're so cheap, you know, they're cheap, you know, they're so scared of their gifts. If it was a winter one, they wouldn't be there. No, oh, no. Sometimes a guy can wait and whack you around the place for, you don't know who you're picking on. I remember reading about a lass that got attacked and her brother was a black belt in Taekwondo. He went down the street and got hood, hood a whole lot of them and bounced five of them all through the street. Five of them he took away. And they landed in gardens and they landed in hedges. And he took five of them on board. Now you see if they'd have met him, they wouldn't have been hitting him. Huh. They wouldn't have been hitting him, Paul. Certainly you can't do nothing against a gun ball. That's impossible. But you can maybe tackle them just with a fist. See, years ago I seen a lot of street fights, but it was all fists, not just fists. Yeah. But when they never came up with a blade pole, you know. There was a lot of street fights and you saw you saw it. Ah, you just went fighting the couch, <coughs> coming out the pub and it was like this. Right, right. Uh. <laughs> but that was all pole. I mean, they punched somebody in his nose, nose would be blood, and uh, that was that, keep away. But I mean, nothing with blades, Paul. Never ever seen a blade. No, no, no. They always it, don't they? Never seen a blade. Just no. lock it up. <coughs> never seen that years ago. <coughs> really just man to man fights. Uh. You know, if you've said something to me and I don't like it, bash in the face. But never, never blades, Paul. I mean, I don't think they ever mean, or oh, take his life. Uh, it was just more or less I'll deal with this right in sport. But never to think I'm going to kill him, that's we are rational ball. That's what they want to do, they want to kill you. The way we joined, just being aggravated, you know. I mean some folk can aggravate you, so you might go for them. But to think that you take a man's life, well, that's a way we join that ball. That's what I did. That's what a boy done. A boy was born in the jail cell. On the news. He took somebody's life. I was using a bit more than a boy. Oh, boy, that'll be fierce.